Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my ongoing series where we go through the Pokedex one Pokemon at a time, and I give you my top 10 picks of Pokemon cards to buy. Just keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into it. So first up here is going to be quite expensive. This is the most expensive card that's going to be on this list, but I do think that it's a really good one. This is Venusaur from the base set, Shadowless. It's first edition, and its price point is definitely up there. For a near mint card of this, you're looking at $600. So do not worry. There's going to be other cards on this list that have a much lower price point, but as far as for top 10 cards to own, I think that this one definitely puts it up on the radar there. Now we can take a look down here on a three months time frame. Hasn't really been moving. It's been very flat, right? We move over to the one year for this. And we can see that it's actually gained just a tiny little bit. It's up 3.03%. What I really want to look for, we're going to go ahead and move over here. This is from TCG Fish. And you guys can see that for a first edition holographic of this, it is actually hard to grade this. So because of that, we see that the PSA 10 chance is a little bit under 18%. There's 144 that have been populated for a PSA 10. There's been 659 that got a PSA 9. Now remember, we were talking about a $600 price point, right? So what about as far as for recent sales go of a PSA grade 10? Well, recently, if you were able to pull it off, if you could get a 10 recent sale, put it in at $13,800. We can see $13,800. Before that, we also have a little bit else going on. So we can see from a PSA 9, that was $3,480. Again, if you're putting in $600 and you don't get a PSA 10, even if you get a PSA 9, still looks quite good. A PSA 8 at $1,470, again, looking quite good. So overall, this seems like it has a lot of potential. At one point, we can go back historically, and a, a PSA 10 looks like it was at its peak at $30,000. Not for a Charizard, we're talking about for Venusaur. So this one seems like it definitely should be on people's radar, at the very least. As far as for the last three sales of a PSA 10, the average is $13,600. I think that really says a lot. For a PSA 9, the average recently, $2,926. So yes, it can be quite costly, but even if you pulled off a PSA 8, right around $1,600 average. Moving on to the next card. Plus it's really good to also have things that are like so iconic. We're talking about one of the original Pokemon. And why is this reloading on me? Maybe it's because it had the tab open for too long or something. So I do have this set up already for near mint. This is a hollow, the Venusaur Pop Series 2. And this one comes in at just under $23. You guys can see that it has gained 1.41% over the course of three months. And for one year, it's actually down a little bit, down 7.45%. So at one point, we do see over the course of one year, it was up at $19.61. And it's actually pulled back down, um, which is kind of weird. Why is it saying $19.61 when we're literally looking at this right now at $22.92? I find that to be odd. That is odd. Um, near Mint Hollow Foil right here, it says $18.15. But still, very odd. Now we move over to TCG Fish. This is a hard grade difficulty. We have 35 PSA 10s, but there's 107 PSA 9s. The chance of getting PSA 10 here, a little bit under 25%. And we can also see from an all-time perspective, at one point, it was $800 for a PSA 10. Right now, recent sale, we see at $336. And uh, the average, in the last three sold, $378. For a PSA 9, it dramatically drops down. It goes down to $55. But guys, again, um, if you decided to get this, you want to get a PSA graded with the PSA grade costs, you would be kind of pushing close to breaking even. So if you feel like you've got a chance that you could potentially get a 10, it might play off really well. Otherwise, you might just kind of earn your money back. Um, but 
do not forget that cards could also appreciate over time. And so in the short term, what we're seeing here in the three months, it has gained just a tiny bit. So there is a little bit of momentum going on on that perspective. And then moving on to the next card, we have Venusaur from Supreme Victors. This card is at $13.89 for near mint. We can see that in the last three months, it's had quite an exponential increase, up 10.15%. So looking really, really good in a shorter time span. When we zoom out on the chart a little bit, we still see that it's got some upwards momentum. It's up 18.42%. So a nice looking price increase. We move over here. We can see that the grading difficulty for this is actually very hard. So if you're pushing for a reverse hollow, it's very hard to get a PSA 10. In fact, right here, according to this, it's not even identifying any PSA 10s. Now, let me go ahead and scroll down. Sometimes it seems like they don't want to pull in some of the data, even though they have it in other areas. We see a PSA grade 9. At one point, it was $80. This one then dropped down a little bit to $60. Uh, we can see a PSA 9. The average is right around $58.33. So yeah, I'm literally not seeing it populate any data for a PSA 10, meaning that if you happen to actually pull a PSA 10, it's really interesting because the market, we don't really see what's going on um, with this card being put out there. So, you know, hopefully I'm not missing some resources or TCG Fish is not pulling in all the correct data, which that might be the case. And if that is true, I apologize, guys. But at least by looking at these things, it does look like there's no PSA 10. So if you can pull it off, then absolutely amazing. I think that this definitely could end up getting some good attention if you're able to do so, and potentially cause more people to want to go out and grade it and then um, see how the market adjusts to everything there. Um, now, I can't remember if I said this in the beginning of the video, but let me at least make it make sure I say it now and make it really clear. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. Please, I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. I really want to make that clear. These are cards that look like good finds to me, but doesn't mean that I'm totally right. And so here we are. We have Celebi and Venusaur GX. This is a secret. I really like the rainbow art on this. The fact that it has two different Pokemon. Celebi seems like a really cute Pokemon. It also seems like a nice complement to Venusaur. So having both of these Pokemon in the same card is quite nice. There are several different cards with Venusaur that feature multiple Pokemon. This one by itself, I think it does stand out a little bit. For a near mint condition, it's at $44.54. Over the course of three months, it's already appreciated 7.3%. And over the course of one year, it's actually up. Wait, sorry, it's down. My bad. I hadn't adjusted the price chart yet. It's down 4.04%, but it is technically on the climb back up. So at one point, it had hit a bottom right around $39, $33, it looks like, and has climbed since back then. Uh, has since climbed back then. Has since, yeah, has since climbed from back then to now $44.54. I have no idea why that was so hard for me to say. Then we go take a look over here. This is not a hard card to grade. It's actually considered to be easy. You have over a 50% chance of getting a PSA 10, almost 60%. So 229 have been graded PSA 10, 158 have gotten PSA 9. And when we take a look down here recently, PSA 10, $145. Before that, we're looking at $140, $123, $150, right around that range, right? At PSA 9, we're looking at $49, a PSA 8, like $50. And so, guys, we go back over here. Just want to point it out to you. If you think that this has a chance at a 9, or especially a 10, you could have potentially a nice little turnover in profits. But remember, when you send cards to be graded with companies like PSA, which is what we're referencing here, you have to pay them. So whatever the price of the card is that you pay, plus the price that you're paying for the grading, you need to take that into consideration about whether or not the final result is actually worth it. And then we're taking a look at how these trends have been moving, right? So this card looks like it's been coming back up quite well, which I think looks great. The PSA 10 average, the last three sold, $136. I think it gives some good wiggle room but not necessarily the best out of the comparison of cards. But again, we're doing the top 10 and I do like the artwork on that card. 
and I think that that still has potential. We're seeing that upwards movement. Up next is the SIR. This is Venusaur EX from the 151. Absolutely a beautiful card. It goes really well with the uh, Bulbasaur and the Ivysaur to help fit that whole transition effect. All of them from the 151. 151 is very popular. It's not even that old, and it's already showing so much potential from a collecting standpoint and from a demand standpoint, especially as of recently while I'm recording this video. There's a lot of talk going on about, oh, is it real? Is it not? Are there, is there going to be a reprint? Is, you know, restock? What's going on? Okay, so taking a look down here, in three months, this card is up 44.24%. 44.24% over the course of one year. Let's see how it's adjusted there. It's up 46.45%. So really making some significant moves. Again, absolutely amazing looking card. $86.95 for a near mint. And let's see, do we have the data pull up for this as well? Okay, so for this one, it's a moderate for trying to get a PSA 10. 33% chance, so you're looking at like one in three. You have 29 PSA 10s, 59 that have gotten a PSA 9. Now, over the course of two years, we can see that it slowly pulled itself down here as far as a PSA 10 goes, currently sitting right around $122 recently. Um, we pull it back on the entire chart here. If it'll show, oh, because it's not even that old, so it's not going to zoom out. It's like, shouldn't it be moving, period? Uh, we saw it at one point at like $440. So since then, it's just kind of sporadically trickled down for your PSA 10. But again, we were looking at just a raw card in itself that has been showing itself to move up. So uh, I am curious to see how many more of these are going to get graded. Right now, there's not even 100 of these cards to have been graded. So I think that there is still potential there, especially if we do see this translation over like there's been so much demand or price appreciation at the very least for the Charizard EX the SIR from 151. So if Charizard really sets a standard, we could see it kind of have a, a rippling effect over into these other cards like Blastoise and Venusaur. And so PSA 10 recently, $113, $130, $143, $143, and the average is like $128.83. A PSA 9, you're looking at $44. So yeah, I mean, if you get a PSA grade nine, that's not ideal because you're looking at like half the cost of what it's showing right here right now. But I also think that there's a chance that people that are holding on to their uh, PSA nines or PSA tens, they're doing something on the market that's allowing it to not really bump itself up. You might be seeing too many of these cards being flooded out. You know, when you look at supply and demand, there might be too much supply at the moment. Um, or there just might be a lot of people that are trying to save their money and they're chasing after certain other cards or they're preparing for other sets. Like a lot of people seem to be really trying to get into the Charizard EX out of FOMO, the fear of messing out, because they don't know if the price is actually going to pull back down or if this thing's just going to take off like crazy and become like a moon rion. That's a whole other discussion as well that could be going into, but uh, be gone into. Here we are on the next card. This is Dark Venusaur. I think that this is a good choice because we do have a Team Rocket set that's coming out. And with this being such a big and powerful Pokemon, having this might mean that we could see it start to fly back up in the market because of the fact that there's all the hype around the Team uh, Rocket set when that comes out. That's the potential here. Potential, again. Here we are with $40 for a near mint card. It's up 4.42% in the last three months over the course of one year. It's down 0.79%, so not really that much of a move there. And let's go ahead and go take a look. Over here, the grading difficulty on this is easy. This is if you're going for the original, right? We're not talking about for the winner. We're just talking about for an original card. And I wanted to go with the original side uh, from a price standpoint, I just thought it, that it made a little bit more sense. So it's not hard to grade this to get a PSA 10. You have over a 50% chance of getting a PSA 10. And we can also see down here that the grading of this, $160, it's starting to curve up a little bit there. At one point, we did see it around $350. So it has potential to make some moves. Don't forget, again, Team Rocket set seems like it's not that far around the corner now, and that could potentially cause a little bit of a sort of like a backdraft or is that the right word? 
anyways, you kind of get my reference point. It could affect this and help it as well. Okay, uh, so PSA 10, the average last three, makes it $131.58. Up next is Venusaur. This is a promo card, and this is, I feel like I might sneeze, guys. Um, this is $101.49. <laughs> there it is. $101.49 near mint. And we can also see that over the course of three months, it's down 0.02%. Over the course of one year, it's down 4.09%. It had quite a dramatic drop, started to appreciate over time, then not quite as dramatic, but still fairly dramatic of this uh, decrease in price here. This came across from right around May, 20, uh, May 27th down to around July 21st, right? So dropping just below $100 a little bit. Now it's actually back above the $100 price point. And we move over here for the promo Black Star card. This is very hard to grade, like very hard to grade. We're talking it's 2.6% chance you could get a PSA 10. There's only eight of these have gotten a PSA 10 and there's 297 PSA 9s. There are 2,522 cards for PSA total population. That's a lot. For a PSA 10 recently, $19,200. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here again. This is a little bit over $100 card. If you get it raw, near mint, 101.49. If you pull it off, if you get a PSA 10, there is a recent sale for $19,200. Is there some fishy stuff going on with that? Potentially. I mean, it is a lot of money, but do keep in mind, take a look at the market, see how people are reacting with everything else. There are not very many PSA 10s in general of this card. So then we also have a PSA 9. The average of that is $317. There was a recent sale for $355. So at $355, when you're paying $101, even that still looks quite good. But the question is, can you pull off getting it received and it look like it's in a 9 to 10 base quality? Okay, what's going on my nose? Uh, like a little piece of dust or something going on. This is uh, Venusaur EX from XY Promos. And this card... I really like the artwork here. You've got Venusaur with a few other Pokemon. You got Scyther. You also have Bioplume. I think that might be it. But it's got an explosive element to it. I really like the outline. This is at $79.75 for near mint condition. Over three months, it's down 1.26%. On the one year, this is actually up considerably. And it looks progressive. It's not like a dramatic thing. It's progressive. This is up 23.41%. Now we go to take a look over here. You can see that the difficulty for grading this is hard. It's less than 20%. It's 18.1%. There are 59 PSA 10s, 267 PSA 9s, less than 1,000 total cards graded, period, uh, for PSA here. And then you guys can see, for a PSA 10, it's been pretty consistently climbing up, right? Like it hits a point, maybe it pulls back a little bit, kind of goes sideways, then it starts to climb back up again. This seems very healthy. It feels very organic in my personal opinion. Now, taking a look at this recently, $1,530 for a PSA 10. At one point, $1,830. And on top of it, it wasn't even like it was a long time ago. This is recent. So it shows a nice, consistent uh, price appreciation. This is a card that I think that could be very good for people to have on their radar. PSA 10 recently, $1,530. Here's another one for $1,530. It looks like they were both sold on the same day. Um, the average of this, $1,540. So even just slightly above it a little bit. Moving on, we have the M Venusaur EX. This is from Generations. I really like the artwork here. It's got some Japanese. I'm not exactly sure what it says, but it's very stylized. This is for $6.42 at near mint condition. 
And over the course of three months, it's up 1.32%. It did have a bit of a dramatic drop here, going down to around $7.71 before starting to climb back up to where we are right now. Uh, this actually shows here $8.46. I'm not sure why there's these discrepancies. Uh, this is where I guess you could buy it from TCG Player for this price. And then the market itself is showing it around $8.46. So I, I guess technically you can actually get it for a good deal if you went through TCG Player according to what we're seeing on the price chart here, uh, which would make sense because you can buy through TCG Player, right? So then we go take a look over in TCG Fish and it shows it for a grading on this, it's moderate. It's not too hard. It's still not a 50-50% chance though. You're at 32.9%. There's uh, 137 of these that are PSA 10. There are 280 that got a PSA 9. Um, we do see a huge spike up. I mean, like massive price spike up. This was around like $75, $69. Then all of a sudden, boom, $1,700 for a PSA grade 10, which definitely raises some eyebrows. Uh, past 90 days, public sales information. It's not even being a. It's not even being populated here. Then we see a little bit further down below for PSA 10. The last sold, $1,700. The average over the last three, $611. I would take that with a grain of salt because as I've mentioned in previous uh, a previous video, is that if you have one price that's really low, like $50, and then all of a sudden you shoot all the way up to $1,700, you take the average. So all of a sudden, the average looks like, oh, it's not 50 bucks, $611. That's what I believe is happening here. Um, but there was apparently a sale. So it's something to at least keep on your radar. And again, I think the artwork looks good. It's moderate for grading. There's 531 of these cards. Just something to take a look at. Then we have Venusaur Crystal Guardians. And this is $35.03 for a near mint. That's over on TCG Player. The market price on this over the course of three months is down 6.52%. So we move over to the one year to see how that uh, is associated. And this is actually up 5.04%. So in the longer term, it's actually up. There was a huge spike up, dropped down a bit, kind of dropped down, back, uh, down a bit again, climbed just slightly up, and then kind of went sideways here. Then we go take a look over here. The grading of this for a reverse foil is hard. There are 51 PSA 10s, 164 PSA 9s. The chance of getting a PSA 10 is 23.7%. Now also, similar to the last card, you see a massive price spike up as of very recently. There are a lot of cards that are having this sort of impact recently. Some people are saying that this might look like a bubble. It could be bubbles tend to pop. So be cautious, but if you guys are looking at trying to get a card raw and grade it and potentially turn around and sell it, again, it's kind of the point of me making this video is what cards to look at that look like, hmm, maybe. Not saying yes, hmm, maybe. So previously, a PSA 10 for this, $238. Remember, we're talking about $35 raw. Even if you get a PSA 9, still looks really good, $238. In fact, we can go... Uh, all the way back to November 14th of 2020, we still saw prices right around there. And this had a little bit below $200 back in November 6th of 2022. PSA 10, recently $597.80. Um, we also see PSA 10 recently, this year I should say, $237.50. So there's a bit of a gap that took place between those two. And the average we're seeing over the last three sales is $381.77. Okay, so there are my top 10 picks for Venusaur cards uh, that if you were to consider buying, take a look at these ones. Let me know if you agree with that or not. And if you guys enjoy this series and you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe. Feel free to share this with your friends. Hit the thumbs up like button. I would love to hear from you guys down below of which one of these cards that I showed you in this video is your personal favorite. Which one do you like the look of the most? You can even give me like a one, two, three. I appreciate you guys so much. God bless. And we'll see you in the next episode.